With all the flooding that's been going on lately, um, one of the questions that we're asked more and more frequently is how permeable paving might protect your property in a flood event or how it might help you if you live on a floodplain. Um, the short answer in those situations is that it's not really going to help. Um, permeable paving is a flood prevention measure rather than a flood protection device. It's important to understand the difference and this model will help me to explain what the difference is. This is an example of a natural open landscape. So normally rain would normally fall on this um, and the water would soak down into the ground at source and um, it would stop the water from flowing downstream um, so yeah there's no problem there. More and more often though these days we're um, landscaping over um, this green land. We all need car parks, roads, pathways, that kind of thing. Um, so the water falls on here, um, it can't soak into the ground so it rolls down the hill um, where it creates a flood risk downstream. Permeable paving is a SUDS uh, technique, a sustainable drainage technique. So when the rain falls on this, the water soaks down into the ground just as it would in a natural landscape. And that stops the water flowing downstream, creating a flood risk. Um, if you were to install your permeable paving here though, at the bottom of, the, um, at the bottom of a hill or on a floodplain, um, you're never going to be able to build a system that's deep enough or big enough to cope with the amount of water that's flowing down. What we need to encourage is for people to use just permeable paving and good suds measures upstream to stop it creating a flood risk downstream. It just goes to show that flooding really is everybody's problem. Even if you don't live in a flood risk area, if you manage the water that falls on your property responsibly, it stops it being a problem for people who live downstream.